Good morning, it is Magnus Helberg here in Malibu with my daily real estate update. Hope you're having a good day so far. It's Tuesday, the day after Halloween, and uh, hopefully you survived last uh, evening, you know, trick or treating or whatever you did, parties. We had a little office party here at the, in the office, and uh, you know, it was uh, just during the day. N nothing too festive. Anyway, so today I want to talk about the reduction and reductions of the price. When you put something on the market and you put it too high and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks later, you got to reduce the price. This is not good. You're much better off pricing it a little lower. You're still multiple offers, even though there may not be 20 or 30 offers. There may be two, three, four, five offers. And it all depends on the quality of the property where you're located and how you priced it that's the key and you don't want to be the one reducing the price unless you have to so uh, i've noticed that every day there's about the same amount of properties coming on the market as there are reductions they're equal so if it's a hundred properties for instance coming on then there's a hundred reductions so that'll give you an indication to what's going on in the market so price the property right, hire a real estate agent that knows what they're talking about, that knows the area, that knows the, the market in that area, and listen to the realtor. They usually know what they're doing. And in, even in this market, it, especially not the really high end, but, but the little low, uh, you know, average or upper average or lower end properties, uh, you're better off pricing it, uh, pricing it aggressively and getting a few offers and uh, driving the price up a little bit than the other way around. Have a great day, everybody. It's Tuesday, November 1st. Have a great day. Bye. And remember, choose to be extraordinary.